Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this. Today I'm going to be telling you about the time I ran into a fence at full speed and got a black eye. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a vlog to go along with it. So that'll be really fun for you guys watching and let's get started. friends were visiting from college. I went to University of Hawaii on Oahu and they came to Maui where I'm living and it was like 10 people and I've known these people since I was a freshman in college. That's like five years now. They knew me like as a young Kelly before I got my IG clout or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it was just the homies over here and we were all cruising and going crazy because it was my friend Connor's birthday. So Connor hosted us and we had an amazing time <laughs> and I can't wait to show you what we got into. Let's get into it. So basically when I got there, I had like a brand deal that I already <laughs> had to do for Ciroc. Shout out my agency for getting me that. But I had to do this brand deal for Ciroc and I basically had my friend get me this Ciroc bottle, but we had to go to multiple different CVS's to get it. And then we finally found this blue dot Ciroc, which is really good, you should try it. But then I made this drink and I was like, I don't know, my friends are influencers, so it was really funny and uh, cause they were like getting in on it and you can show the clip of Stan like <laughs> attacking me. <laughs> it was really fun. But then after we were playing birthday Olympics, so Connor like gathered everybody up on the chess human chess size chess board whatever and he like explained the rules of what we were doing and uh, we had a full relay race with like a slip and slide and we played capture the flag it was really fun <laughs> yeah i had to make my ig like little Ciroc video like six times because it was like not <laughs> i wasn't doing it well hey happy memorial day weekend i am going to be making my favorite cocktail party drink for you right now with this blue bottle Ciroc. I'm gonna pour like a little bit in and then get some ice. I feel like one is good but I'll put two. And then I'm gonna put some pineapple passion in because I get that Hawaii flair. And I hope you guys are all having an amazing memorial weekend. Finish it off with lemon. Cheers. But yeah, the human chest size thing was lit and my friends are so fun. They honestly could just get so turned with whatever they're doing. I, like they were so excited to visit Maui and on one for Connor's birthday. <laughs> And they just go hard in general, so like, yeah. Honestly, the best, most like fun, loving, fun, funny people ever. So then we like played capture the flag and the other team hid their flag like inside of a tree, like literally in a palm tree, like inside of the like husk of the palm tree. It was so hidden and I didn't think I would do good, but I ran all the way to the other side. You don't have to put this in, <laughs> it's kind of boring. I ran all the way to the side and I was looking for it and I couldn't find it in the side. But anyways, we made this giant slip and slide after that. And yeah, you basically just go to like Home Depot and get a bunch of plastic. Not great for the environment, but it's super fun. <laughs> you get like a huge sheet of plastic and then you get like baby soap because baby soap can get in your eyes and it doesn't like sting your eyes or whatever like other soap does. But the baby soap makes you super slippery and you can just slide on all my friends. Like you should do it with like I don't know. This hill that they were doing it on was so steep and so intense <laughs> that they were like going down it and getting like cuts all over their body. But yeah, Mames was all cut up and everyone was all cut up. And then we went shopping when we were going to the Ciroc, get the Ciroc stuff. So then we, they got like stuff to make dinner and homeboys pulled out the Wagyu from their dad's freezer and they were making all kinds of things that I wasn't going to eat. But I had the uh, portobello's and the asparagus and it was really good. <laughs> that veg lifestyle and his house is so pretty. Like we are just chilling on the deck looking at the sunset. It was a vibe. Everything was going amazing. Connor's wine room is like literally crazy. I don't even know if I'm allowed to put it in it but I wanna just like flex on that. Dude, he had a like 
wine top thing at his house like you could just go down to the cellar and be like mm, i want this one you know <laughs> insane it's actually insane dude I'm, i like took a video to show my mom <laughs> Like I definitely have to tell my editor to like not put all the clips in from <laughs> the weekend because oh my god my friend like cut themselves on like glass because like I guess someone like or like the wind knocked glass over it and then I don't really know but this kid cut himself and then there was like glass or there was like blood all over the dance floor and it was hella intense and then the next day we just got some rest and recovery we had a nice beach day at McKenna and we were just chilling in the sun what happened nothing really happened we all got hella sunburned and then we were like. The whole weekend was just like depleting, honestly. But like, you know, we gained it back in like mana and like love or whatever. But then uh, we went to Maui Brewing Co. and we continued our weekend. Like, I don't know if you've had like Maui hard seltzers, but this is like the original like place where it's made and where their offices are and stuff. So yeah, we visited there and the food is hella good and service is really good and it was really fun. And then I might be like missing some stuff and going out of order. But after that, we um, kind of just wanted to like make a fire for the night. We wanted to do a bonfire, but we ended up like lagging after Maui Brewing Co. We were like lagging until like Holy's closed. We were gonna go to this like magical place that like where I shot my video in the forest and where I've done other photo shoots. Just this like really cool mountain hill spot. And we were gonna go there, but then the gates closed at nine, so we had nowhere to go, and we, this is where the black eye story starts unfolding. So we decided to just go to a park. So we decided to go to this park and then light a fire on the table and make a bonfire because on the table there was already like a bunch of ash and like burn marks. Like people had just like lit fires on it before. So we were at this like park in the middle of nowhere, up in the mountains, and then having a grand old time. I was gathering firewood. We were just kindling fire and spirits. And then the cops showed up, but they were pretty nice and they just like made us leave and they didn't get us in trouble or anything. But we had to like pour out the fire really fast before they came. So then we were at this park, the cops came, and then my friends decided to go up to the top of Haleakala, which is like 30 degrees. Like it's actually like freezing up there, like there's snow. I'm literally going to the top of the fucking mountain in Waikiki, in fucking Maui. We're, we're literally going to the top of the mountain right now. It's 2 a.m. If you're not invited to the content, not better for you. <laughs> my friend was just sending it because we were already like halfway up the mountain. He just decides to drive up the mountain and the, the friends in the back were like freezing. <laughs> like freezing cold and then it took like an hour to get up there. So like I just like fell asleep in the back because I was like okay this is like a full mission like we're sending it up this mountain. They got up, there was like nothing up there. And at this point they were just trying to like stay up to like, cause Connor didn't want people at his house making noise because there's like people who like live there who like watch his property and stuff. So he didn't want people making noise at the house. So he was trying to get us like out and like doing anything else other than running around his property. Fast forward, I'm, I'm like, I had fell asleep in the car and then I got out of the car. I woke up, got out of the car, and then there was like a fire and we were at a fire and <laughs> we were all like chilling, but I didn't really know what was going on. And then they were like, oh, we're like home. You can just like walk home. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm trying to frame this in a way that makes me not sound crazy. <laughs> but like, they were like, you could just walk home. And I was like, I thought they were saying like, just walk home. And I was like hella confused and I just woke up. And then I was like, what? And I was like, I will. Fine, I will walk home. I thought they were like being mean, but then they weren't being mean. And they were just telling me to like, like walk home because they were literally on Connor's property. <laughs> like we were like at the edge of his property, but I didn't realize that we were there. I thought we were just like in the wilderness because it's like hella big. So then I was like, oh, okay. I realized I could just walk home. So then I was like, okay, I'm gonna send it back to his house. And his house is like, was like, way on the other side like I had to like squint my eyes to like see the lights and stuff I was like okay I'm just gonna like run and send it back to his house it's a long fucking mission I was like okay bet I'll see you guys later I'm gonna get some supplies and like liven up or whatever 
And then I'm like full, I decided to like waking up. I was like, okay, I'm gonna full speed sprint at this gate. That was like a, it was like a white fence with like mesh in front of it. I don't know how to say it. Like a wire fence in front of like a white picket fence. I only saw the white picket fence cause it was nighttime. And there was like a fire behind me. So I could just see like the white and I like went to go like hop over the white fence but there was this like really tall wire fence in front of me. So I, my face just fully collided with it. I like bounced back, didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I was like, what the f where did that come out? Thin air from, and then I was like, on this wire, and I was like, oh, damn, that hurt. It didn't really set in, because it was nighttime, and I wasn't like checking my face until the next morning, and then it like eventually got worse, but it didn't last that long, because I was healing it really well, and I used like, like vitamin E oil and stuff on it, but, but yeah, then after that, <laughs> I woke up, and I had that weird face thing. It like looks a lot better now. But like, you can kind of see right here. And it was like, damn, I really went away. It was like right there. And I had like, oh shit. It like looks really good actually. Cool, but the next day we went to Makawa, which is like my fave town. I've already talked about it before in this other vlog. I've talked about Makawa and my Tinkerbell jewelry making vlog. And I've talked about it other times, but it's like this little magical town and our friend wanted to find crystals so I took them there and we went to this place called the Cookie Lady and we got fruit and Thai food and a bunch of other good stuff and then they pretty much had to go shortly after that which was super sad. But yeah, that is my adventure and that's how I got a black eye. And then I also just got my camera recently. The one I'm filming on right now, I got a Canon G7X. Gang gang. The other vlog, I did a shit with Chasing Rooftops and my friend Sierra and my friend Tara. I'll put their handles below. But they ran into a friend who had a puppy and we shot some stuff for my OF and her Patreon. We didn't really do stuff together. It was more just like solo stuff. But it was really fun and we got super creative by the ocean and there were like cows everywhere. How to bring a bunch of outfits when you do photo shoots because then you can just like post a bunch of content. Okay, anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed this vlog and all of me filming random stuff. I really appreciate you watching and hanging out. I wanna make better content for you and I love you and hope you have a fantastic day. Peace, love, aloha, sunshine, and happiness. Bye.